So hopefully before they go on their own way, mm -hmm. hopefully we build a sustainable lifestyle. We build something that makes sense for them and it's just in schedule and they understand the process. So I help my client understand what they are doing and why they are doing it. So this is how you work out. And this is the reason you're doing that. This is how you eat. And this is the reason you're eating that. And, and let's figure your schedule and your life and your things in order for to make it functional and, and, and good for your lifestyle, not mine. I'm not, I'm not taking anyone and getting them in my lifestyle. My lifestyle is different. I'm next to a gym. So for me, it's very easy to finish work and get a workout in. It's right here. So it's very different for everyone. It, so when they fell off the wagon, it's sometimes just lack of accountability, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, because they know why they are doing this. They know how important it is. Um, some people will go too fast in, in, on their own. And I know nothing I can do there. Sometimes it just happens like, oh, I'm good. Because when they, most times when they are with me and, and, and we get, you know, everything in and everything settled, it's easy. Yes. Or, or at least it's easier. Mm -hmm. At least it's easier. You have mm -hmm. someone to look over your shoulder. You have someone to tell you, this is what you got to do. Your phone is going to ring and it's going to tell you, let's get to the gym. So mm -hmm. simple, efficient. When you don't have that anymore, what are you going to do? So sometimes they go on their own too quick because they because that part was easier. And like, ah, that's easy. I don't need them anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe you do. And sometimes they go and it doesn't stick. That happens. That would always happen, unfortunately. When it does, always try to reach out again and be like, how's it going? You know, hopefully they're going to tell me that they kept at it. That's the goal of it. And when they don't, well, it's sad, but I try to push them a bit. Uh, Accountability and, basically is yeah. a big factor to it. Yeah, I think I think it's one of the most important things mm -hmm. to have someone. It can be yes. anyone. It can mm -hmm. be anyone, honestly. Uh, anyone can Google the program. Mm -hmm. Anyone. Just put the keywords in there. You can Google the program. It's most likely going to make a lot of sense. Or at least if you come from nothing, you'll do something, it will work. But can you stick to it? And yes. can that program evolve with you as well? Because, you know, after a couple of weeks, um, your body will change, your body will adapt, and now you need a different stimulus in your workout. So that needs to be adjusted. That needs to be looked at. And that comes from, you know, having a conversation with my clients of what happened, where are you going to go, and how do we get there, and what's the new workout, and how food is relevant to all of this, how's your energy, how's your sleep, how's your, your, your food intake, because we look at, into all of this, because it's very important. It's just, it's just not, here's your workout, mm -hmm. high five, good luck. It goes way beyond there. And that's what I, I did when I first started. That's what everyone does when they first start in, in the fitness industry, or at least they did. Mm -hmm. It's, we're going to build a program. And people keep asking me, can you make me a program? I'm like, yeah, but that's not what works. Because one, when I was doing only that and only giving programs, the only people for who it worked is the one that were already having that lifestyle. Because now mm -hmm. all their the variable they had to change was a program. The ones that were doing nothing and thought by having words on a sheet of paper would lead to success, they never did. Most of them. How, 